I wanted to give you all a little bit of an update on these plants that I planted. I guess it would have been the end of July. This is the first time I've tried this where I had some crops that were kind of pittering out from disease and just kind of done for the season that I went ahead and planted more. And they call that succession planting. I've heard of a lot of gardeners talk about it and do it, but I've never really seen the whole process. There's a bug on me. So I, I kind of figured maybe y'all might be curious too to kind of see how this has been working for me. So, I don't know if y'all remember, but this row here, I planted several summer squashes, and you see if I've only got two left. They got so sick, I just had to rip them up, and I think I had, I want to say I planted at least seven. I'd have to go back and look at my videos, but I planted quite a few, and I only have these two left, and they're actually doing pretty good. The other ones got quite sick so quickly. And that's something I was curious about because when you're planting stuff so late in the summer season, you're planting it during the time when pests and diseases are at their highest with the humidity and the heat. Where I am anyway, I'm in zone 8A over in North Georgia. So I, that's definitely what I've been dealing with. So a lot of them did get very sick and I did have some pest pressure at first, but it, they seem to be doing okay now. These are the ones that survived and I do. I am getting some fruits here. You see that? So that's good to see. Seeing some fruit. Oh, this one over here. Oh, this must be a a white scallop. You see that? You see the little tiny ones? Those are cute. These to Tabasco peppers are doing beautifully. Look at this. Look those lovely. I already started a batch of fermented Tabasco peppers for my fermented Tabasco sauce. Here we go, y'all. As you see, they are quite sick. <laughs> now my tomatoes generally get sick and that just happens for me in my area, but these got sick so fast that I don't know. I see some tomato hornworm damage right here. Where are you? Maybe a bird got that one already. I don't see it. But, oh, it's funny, there's gnats. Are those just white flies? That's weird. Huh. Guess I need to get some marigolds over here. But, I honestly don't know well, looks. Let's see. There is one little fruit there, don't we? I mean, it's a little bit damaged. I wasn't sure if I'd get any fruit on these. Oh, see, we had a bit of a storm last night. I haven't been as good putting these guys up. Be gold. Come here. See, these guys, these just look terrible. The other thing, too, is I haven't been seeing very many pollinators right now and I think if I were to do this again I would plant something else with them there maybe some marigolds and or some buckwheat something that flowers quickly to kind of attract the pollinators over here because that's the only one tomato that I see growing come here beagles as you see they're not doing that great I'm not sure we'll see if we get any fruit out of these guys. I mean, that's the main thing, right? Is to get a later crop in the year. The idea with the succession planting. When I planted those other tomatoes, I planted some back here. And I haven't really done much with them. I just kind of let them grow, you see? I haven't even I haven't tied them up or anything. And they're doing better than the ones that I have been tying up on the cattle panel. Yeah, they're getting some sickness, but they're not as bad in the, as the other ones. But in this one, it's like you got a Amish paste out of it already. Kind of interesting, huh? Look at this. Putting out a few down here. Next year, I will do some things differently if I do this again. I'll do more companion planting with them and not just put all the tomatoes together. Big old, I'm over here now. <sighs> He's funny if I... He doesn't know where I am. He makes this pathetic meow. The one thing that I planted later in the season 
that worked and it's done just fine are the beans. So we'll see. Next year I'll try it again. And I'll let y'all know if I ever, if I get any tomatoes out of those tomato plants. It's not looking too good right now. <laughs> but it looks like I am going to be maybe getting some squash here. So that was interesting to kind of see how this goes. Looks like I got some beans in here. Need to come out and pick, huh? And it's ever so slightly raining right now. <laughs> Feels nice, actually. All right, y'all. That is it for today. I just wanted to kind of give you a little update, and we'll see you next time.